I've been living in the Netherlands for a little over a month. And one of the coolest things about living in Europe is the proximity to other European countries and cultures. That being said, I haven't really explored nearly as much as I would like to because I've been busy. I've been busy with writing my book, which will be coming out March 14th, 2024. Be on the lookout for that. And I've really just been busy with transitioning into my new lifestyle here in the Netherlands and here in Europe, a completely different continent than the one in which I was raised. That being said, whenever I do find the time to explore more around this beautiful continent, one of the places that I would love to go is Copenhagen, Denmark. I think a big part of the reason why Copenhagen appeals to me is because it reminds me of the Netherlands. Based on what I've seen of Copenhagen on the internet, it reminds me quite a bit of the Netherlands, but it also has its own culture and its own thing going on because it's its own country. That being said, although I can't visit Copenhagen at this time, I do want to take the time to talk about Copenhagen Grooming, the sponsor of today's video. Now, what is Copenhagen Grooming? Copenhagen Grooming is essentially a hair and beard growth company. They specialize in creating products that help you optimize your hair and or beard growth. And me personally, I have done both. And you can go back and look at my beard growth journey on my channel if you'd like. This is about my hair growth journey. And on that note, the Copenhagen Grooming Hair Growth Kit offers a natural alternative to traditional solutions like minoxidil and finasteride. It's very important to choose a natural solution because you get all of the benefits with none of the drawbacks. And I do mean all of the benefits. As a matter of fact, Copenhagen Grooming is so confident that you will receive these benefits that they're willing to offer a 150 day hair growth guarantee. In other words, if you don't see the desired results within 150 days, you get a full refund. But if I were a betting man, I would bet all my money that you will see the desired results within that 150 day time period because clinical studies have demonstrated a significant increase in hair growth within that 150 days. Now, I know you're probably wondering, Jordan, why are you talking about hair growth? Okay, right now you're in this new chapter of your life that's about traveling. You should be talking about your experience living in the Netherlands and Believe me when I tell you that I have plenty of video ideas about that. But before I get to those ideas, I need to set up the context for the move and explain how I even got to this point that I was willing and able to make this move. And for me personally, if you haven't been following my channel for the past few years, I like to define different chapters of my life in two ways, books and hair. I know it seems like a weird combination, but that's just the way that my mind works. Now, like I mentioned earlier, I'm finishing up, as a matter of fact, I just finished up my third poetry collection, which will be coming out on my birthday, March 14th, 2024. But I want to talk about my hair growth and how I've ushered in a new chapter of my life with my hair growth journey courtesy of Copenhagen Grooming. That being said, I wanna take you through a time lapse of my hair growth journey. Now, this first picture right here, I showed this in my last video, but this was my starting point. Okay, this is Buzz Cut Jordan, September 25th, 2023. Buzz Cut Jordan. What is Buzz Cut Jordan? What does he stand for? He stands for practicality. Nothing more, nothing less. Function over form, simply put. All he cares about is doing what needs to be done and nothing else. Okay, I would almost go as far as to say that he was living like a prisoner in a sense. That's why his face is looking like that. He also messed up his mustache the day before he took that picture. And you can tell it was weighing on him heavily. I talked about that in my previous video. Moving on to the next picture. Now this picture right here, December 12th, 2023. This was about a week or two after I filmed my previous hair growth journey video. And you could see the curls were absolutely popping. And I'm pretty sure I filmed a video that same day. I don't recall what video it was, but whatever video I was wearing that outfit in, that was that same day. Okay, December 12th, 2023. You can see that the curls are forming. Now, for me, curly hair represents freedom. And I know it sounds so strange, okay? 
assigning so much value to something so seemingly arbitrary. But this is my life and this is how I define it. This is how I define the chapters of my story. I define it through books and through hair. That being said, me seeing these curls let me know that I was stepping back into a chapter of freedom and creative expression. It was less about practicality and more about finding a good balance between being disciplined and also being able to express myself in an artistic manner, which, like I mentioned earlier, happens through my poetry books, March 14th, 2024. And the curls are absolutely popping. This is generally what my hair would look like after I finished washing it and conditioning it. I don't detangle it anymore, or I guess I don't detangle it in the same way that I used to in my curly hair routine videos from 2020. Nevertheless, the curls are popping. Okay, the curls are absolutely popping. And in this next picture right here, December 29th, 2023, a couple of weeks later, you can see that I had some pretty substantial growth to say that that was only a two week period. Granted, in that previous picture, there was quite a bit of shrinkage. If you have curly hair, you know what I'm talking about. Whenever you wash your hair, it tends to shrink as it dries. And this is what my hair would look like on an average day. But you can see the curls are forming and you can see that smile is forming as well. Okay, I don't look as down and sad as I did in that first picture because I'm coming further into myself. I'm at a point in my life where I know that a new chapter, a new beginning is imminent and I'm ready to take it on with that same level of creative expression that I pour into my books. Now, this next picture, January 5th, 2024. Okay, this is the first picture of the new year. And you can see I had a pretty decent amount of growth to say that that was only, what, a week? A week apart, I had a pretty decent amount of growth, especially toward the top of my head. And again, a big part of this is because of the hair growth routine, which I will show you later on in this video, courtesy of Copenhagen Grooming. But you can see that I'm just feeling more positive about life. Okay, it's hard to not feel positive around the new year because you know that it's a new beginning. And not only that, but this was a week before, actually less than a week before my new new beginning of moving to a new continent in a new country. That being said, okay, that brings me to the next picture, January 16th, 2024. This is the first picture that I took here in the Netherlands of my hair growth journey. Now, let's not even talk about the hair, okay? Let's talk about the glow for a second, the glow. I probably took this picture at midnight, okay? That glow is not from the sun. It's not from any external light source. That glow is from within, and that is primarily because... I was stepping into a new beginning, okay? That is the glow of a new beginning. And you can see the hair is simply an extension of that. Me having a new hairstyle, or I guess an old hairstyle, is indicative of this new beginning. And for me, this allowed me to fully embrace and step into this new opportunity of living in a new continent, in a new country, and creating content and letting that inform my artistic process as well. Now, the next picture, February 5th, 2024. You can see I've had some pretty substantial hair growth. My hair looks a lot fuller. It's starting to look more like an afro than a bunch of random curls on my head, right? And part of that is because I probably wasn't taking the best care of it. I was just focused on growth rather than maintenance. But as you'll see later on in future pictures, as a matter of fact, in the very next picture, I did begin to take care of it, and you'll see the difference. But this right here, February 5th, I had been living in the Netherlands for almost a month. Okay, this was, what, a couple weeks ago, something like that? And I was definitely, definitely feeling the impact of this new beginning, for better and for worse. Of course, with moving to a new continent, there will be baggage involved, no pun intended. There will be quite a bit of baggage involved, and you definitely get a chance to measure 
yourself against your new situation and you get a whole lot of new perspective about yourself. That being said, me being creative and me stepping back into that youthful creativity of younger Jordan who had curly hair both in 2020 and throughout my childhood, that allowed me to persevere through the tough times and really emphasize the good times and expand upon those positive times and turn those into things that I could draw from at any given time. The next picture, okay, the next picture, February 14th, Valentine's Day, February 14th, 2024, one month prior to the release of my book. You can see that I have the glow, okay? I have the glow and my curls are absolutely popping. Now, truthfully, I wanted to be able to get my hair braided by around this time. And although it doesn't look like it, my hair was definitely long enough by this point, which is really impressive considering that it had been less than 150 days. That's less than six months of hair growth from a buzz cut with a one against the grain on top and a bald fade on the sides to being able to get full on braids. Okay, if anybody has never gotten braids before, that is very, very impressive. And if anyone has gotten braids before, then I probably didn't even need to tell you that. But you can see the curls are popping. I finally bought some shampoo, so I started washing my hair twice a week along with the conditioner. And that also is indicative of me stepping back into a chapter of self-care. Like I said in that first picture with the buzz cut, I was all about practicality and function over form doing the bare minimum to get by and doing the bare maximum in the things that really mattered to me in terms of my purpose, my artistic pursuits, so on and so forth. Whereas with this version of me, I'm stepping back into the self-care. I'm stepping back into a season of taking the time for myself, taking my time as I do these things and letting that even enhance my creative process because I've learned or I guess I've relearned and remembered that creativity isn't just about practicality. It's not about logically working as hard as you possibly can to create the best thing that you can. It's about taking that mentality and allowing that to coexist with the free flowing creativity, right? And self care is a major part of that process. So, I definitely allowed my younger self to re-emerge in that regard. The version of Jordan who would really take his time and take care of himself, take really good care of himself and prioritize form as well as function because the two are not mutually exclusive. We're going really deep considering that this is a video about hair. But again, hair is not just hair. Hair is essentially a bookmark that I use to define each and every chapter of my life. Now, again, it looks like my hair is not that long, but as you'll see in this next picture, which I took yesterday, my hair is indeed long enough to get braids. And even that picture right there, for as rough as my hair looks, does still fall victim to shrinkage. If I were to pull my hair out right now, this is what my hair looks like. This is how long my hair actually is. I don't know how well you can see that. I hope you can see the length right there but i can definitely get it braided but like i said earlier i've just been too busy i've been too busy with transitioning into this new life getting my visa situated finishing up this book making it the best that i could possibly make it putting my heart soul and mind all into this book and just enjoying time with my girlfriend because we've been apart longer than we've been together physically we've spent so much time being long distance that it's almost surreal to even be with her in person. Right now I'm in her room and I know that she's going to come back from her internship in what, a couple of hours? And I'm really excited for it. As a matter of fact, I'm going to finish editing this video before she gets back. But before I do that, I wanna show you how I have expedited my hair growth process because Again, to grow this much hair in such a short amount of time is absolutely insane, but it's also pretty fitting given the nature of this transition in my life, right? No matter how much time you spend preparing for a move like this, it's going to hit you like that. And 
like you saw in that picture, February 5th, that was right around the time that it actually hit me that, oh, I live in a different continent now, pending the visa approval. Now, how do you go about expediting that process and growing your hair so that you can usher in a new chapter of your life as quickly as possible? Okay, you're ready to move on from this chapter. This chapter has been going on forever and ever and ever. It's too many pages and you're ready to bring about a conclusion so that you can step into your new beginning. How do you go about doing that? Well, there are two things that I did and they both involve Copenhagen grooming. The first of which is I took one of these every single day. This right here is the hair growth capsule, which is packed with biotin, selenium, and zinc, all contributing to normal hair. It also includes copper that contributes to the maintenance of hair pigmentation. It also has 10,000% of your recommended daily intake of biotin. And of course, it's vegan and cruelty free. So every morning, I take one of these. Let me get my water. So I take one of those every day, every morning with my vitamins. And then every night I apply this to my hair, the Copenhagen Grooming Activator Hair Serum. Now, let me show you exactly how I apply this to my hair. And again, you do this every single night. Okay, you take this, you take the cap off and you put one to two drops on each section of your head. It really doesn't take that much. A little goes a long way because it has kind of a liquidy consistency. It's very similar to maybe hand sanitizer or something like that. So it feels a little bit weird the first few times, but if you do it every night, you'll get used to it. And I've done it just about every night. Haven't been perfect, but I've done pretty well considering that I made such a large move. Now, once you get it into your hair, you basically just rub it into your scalp. Okay, the key is you wanna use that little needle it's not necessarily a needle, but the little pointed tip at the end to put it directly onto your scalp. And then you just rub it in like this, and then you let it dry. Now, generally, I like to apply this at night, right before I go to sleep, so that it can absorb into my scalp overnight while my hair is in the bonnet. But you do whatever works best for you and your personal schedule. You can see all of that took me, at most, 30 seconds. That's 30 seconds a day to optimize your hair growth and become a new you. If you're ready to change your life and step into the next chapter of your story, click the link in the description and use code JORDAN20 to get 20% off all products on the Copenhagen Grooming website.